and welcome to a new episode of Scotia Gamer. In our last episode, we unboxed and took a look at the Genki Covert Dock, an all-in-one portable travel solution for connecting your Switch, your phone, and other devices like your PC or your Steam Deck to a HDMI connection via USB-C. I also brought up one caveat with the Genki Covert Dock, and that's that it's a 30-watt charger, compared to the Switch's 39-watt charger and the Steam Deck's 45-watt charger. This doesn't seem to present too much of an issue with the Switch, but could pose an issue for the Steam Deck depending on the power usage of the particular game you're playing. In particular, you may notice that when you connect the Steam Deck to the Genki Dock 1, it will give you a low power warning because it's not able to get that full 45 watts. So if you're more comfortable sticking with a 45 watt charger, Genki has the answer. Recently releasing a 45 watt version of the Covert Dock, the Covert Dock 2, and that's the device we're going to focus on today, in particular seeing how well it performs with the Steam Deck. So I pre-ordered the Genki Covert Dock 2 on October 22nd, and I got it delivered on January 5th. If you want to check out ordering the dock now, head over to Genki's website and see when the next batch of pre-orders is going to be shipped. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's take a look at the box first. Make any screen your playground, easily connect games and videos to your TV. This now has a USB-C 3.2 power delivery, which was upgraded from the previous model. We have the USB-A accessory port and the 4K60 HDMI DisplayPort AV output. And also includes a USB-C 3.2 cable and some adapters for global travel. Let's go ahead and open the box, or the treasure as they appear to call it. So once again, I would say this is the USB-C cable. So let's put that for a side a minute and look at the device itself. Actually, first, we will look at the plug adapters. Uh, I don't intend to travel to places where these adapters are going to be needed, uh, but it's still kind of cool that they were included. And let's get into the device. And here we have it. The Genki Covert Dock 2. Uh, like the Covert Dock 1, it has those uh, retractable outlet prongs there, so that makes it easy to travel. And I'm going to compare it here to the first one. It is a little bit lighter. Uh, of course, it has a new case on it using a white color with some transparency there, so that makes it quite nice and aesthetic. And it's definitely a little bit lighter than the first one, but otherwise you can see that the size is pretty much about spot on compared to the Covert Dock 1. But all in all, it looks quite nice, so let's go ahead and connect it and see how well it performs. So I have the Genki Covert Dock 2 connected to the mains here, and as you can see I have it connected via HDMI to the capture card for the laptop. So let's go ahead and connect the USB-C cable for the Genki Covert Dock to the Steam Deck. And you'll see that we get that output out on the laptop screen, demonstrating that that HDMI output is working. And my Steam Deck is fully charged, but even when I tried this with the Genki Covert Dock 1, uh, I wasn't getting that low charge warning, even when my battery was more depleted. But I, that might have just been because I wasn't using a game that was pulling enough uh, current at the same time, so that I wasn't seeing that warning. But as you can see, the Genki Covert Dock 2 is able to start charge the Steam Deck no problem, and we can also use that HDMI out capability. It also, of course, has that USB-A port, which I have the uh, 
8-BitDo adapter connected to. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I use the 8-BitDo adapter, so I can easily move any controller sync to it between different devices. So let's go ahead and turn on our Xbox Series controller here, and we'll get that up and working on the Steam Deck. Now, of course, if one USB port isn't enough for you on the Genki Covert dock, you can just connect a hub and use other peripherals. But of course, we're planning on using this for traveling, or at least that's a very common use case for it. So probably just having one external controller is enough. And of course, you can also sync controllers directly with the Steam Deck, like the Xbox controller. Again, I just like that flexibility of being able to move the adapter between different devices. And the controller seems to be working no problem. So let's go ahead and fire up some Tetris effect and just to make sure everything works as we would expect. So here we are playing some Tetris effect and uh, we can see that everything works just fine. The controller works as we would expect and we have no issues uh, rotating using our controller here and I'm quite pleased with it. And this game is phenomenal. If you haven't checked it out before, uh, the soundtrack alone makes the game worth it. It's really nice to listen to. Uh, but this is great to demonstrate the capabilities of our setup and show that the Genki Covert Dock works for that HDMI output on the Steam Deck as well as simultaneous charging and ability to use USB peripherals. So I'm not going to bother demoing the Switch or my phone to the Covert Dock 2. I've tried them both and they work fine, exactly the same as the Covert Dock 1 did. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to the Covert Dock 1 video at the end of this one. Now, of course, there are many other docking solutions you can use for the Steam Deck. Valve, of course, makes its own popular option that receives firmware updates, just like the deck itself. JSOX makes one of the more popular alternatives to the official dock. And Skull & Co. also makes a modular USB hub and dock that's compatible with the Switch and the Steam Deck, like the Genki. Other USB hubs can and should work fine, of course, but Valve can't test them all, so your mileage may vary depending on the quality of the hub itself. As I focused on previously, the main draw of the Genki docks, of course, are their small size and portability, as well as their modularity, and I'm happy to see that they fixed the main drawback I mentioned with the Genki Dock 1 on the Genki Dock 2, and that is upgrading it to a 45-watt charger. This makes it a great all-in-one charging and docking solution for multiple devices when traveling. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. While I may not be the most prolific creator, I do have some new videos planned for 2024 that I look forward to sharing with you all. So please consider liking and subscribing for more great content. This is Scotia Gamer. Have a great day and game on.